Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Business of Cricket series with Megha. In this video, we look at how the BCCI rocked world cricket by bringing the Cricket World Cup to India back in 1987 and changed the power dynamics of world cricket forever. The first three World Cups had been staged in England and it was almost a formality that at the vote for the 1987 World Cup, England was going to be chosen yet again as a venue. The meeting was to be held at Lord's which at that time was the citadel of cricket establishment. However, the treasurer of the BCCI Jagmohan Dalmia and the head of Punjab Cricket Association and bureaucrat IS Pindra had other ideas. They wanted the World Cup to be held jointly by India and Pakistan and got to work on swinging the votes in their favour. However, it was going to take a lot of nerves, political acumen and ultimately money. The representatives of India, Pakistan and the third Asian nation Sri Lanka formed an alliance. And then, in an audacious move that left England and Australian representatives blindsided, they offered each of the associate members 40,000 British pounds more than what was being offered by the English Cricket Board. The move succeeded and out of nowhere, the World Cup was moved to Indian subcontinent. At the time, the Asians did not really have much of a say in the global governance of the game. But that one manoeuvre from Dalmia and Bindra wrestled away the control of world cricket from the old guards. However, that was not all. Stick around to know how the duopoly of England and Australia was finally brought to an end. The Indian public got a taste of a World Cup in their own backyard for the first time and the games were held in packed houses. Reliance became the title sponsor of the tournament and the World Cup proved to be a massive success. From there on, try as they might, the direction and power centre of world cricket decisively shifted to India from London. Dalmia and Bindra were the men who were responsible for laying the groundwork for the power that the BCCI was going to enjoy from there on. Dalmia brought the 1996 World Cup to the subcontinent as well. And the broadcasting money that India generated ultimately meant that there was no way any other market could match it. BCCI is now the richest cricket body in the world and India is firmly established as the economic centre of the game. However, it all started with that one eventful meeting at Lord's with two Indian cricket officials hoodwinked the established powers in their own game. The end of England-Australia duopoly over world cricket followed a few months after that meeting at Lord's. Cricket boards of the two countries lost their veto power by way of which they could approve or reject any proposal irrespective of the numbers against their resolution. 